With Arc Hydro Groundwater Analyst, automating the creation of water level and water quality maps is easy. In this demonstration, we will import a set of wells and water level data for Lubbock County, located in the Texas Panhandle. The county overlies the High Plains Aquifer, also known as the Ogallala Aquifer. After importing the data, we will summarize the water levels for different time periods and interpolate the water levels to create maps of continuous water level surfaces, showing how water levels change over time. Our first step is to import wells into a geodatabase and map. From the Groundwater Analyst tools, we'll use the Text Import Wizard. The first step lets us control the import options like the delimiters and heading row. The second step, we match field headers from the imported file to the fields of our target feature class. When we run the tool, a set of new well features are created. We'll zoom in to better visualize the wells. We can see that there are different well types, like observation, spring, test hole, and withdrawal wells. The filter on the Arc Hydro Groundwater Toolbar makes it easy to filter for different well types. Similarly, we can import time series data, such as water levels or water quality measurements, into our geodatabase tables. At the end of this process, we will have a set of water level observations stored in the time series table. Each of the water levels is related to a well feature through common key fields. We use these common fields to map the water levels onto the features and create maps of the water levels within the aquifer. Once the data is imported and the well features are created, it is easy to map the water levels. We use the Make Time Series Statistics tool in the Groundwater Analyst Toolbox to summarize the time series for each well. We can specify the time of interest such as month, season, or year. In this case, we are summarizing water levels for the winter of 2000. You can also choose different statistics to apply. In this case, we will calculate the mean value for the specified time period. Once we run the tool, a new feature class is created. Each point will have as attributes the summarized values of interest. In this case, the average water level for winter 2000. We can now interpolate the water level values to create a raster representing the water table within the county. In this example, we will use the IDW tool in the Spatial Analyst to interpolate from the point data. When the raster is created, we can load it into a raster series raster catalog and index it with the appropriate date and time. We use the Add to Raster Series tool available in the Groundwater Analyst Toolbox. We specify the raster we want to load and the target raster series raster catalog. We also specify the start and end date fields and the appropriate values to index the raster. Loading it into a raster catalog enables us to query rasters and to animate them over time with other datasets. Using the Model Builder interface in ArcGIS, it is easy to create custom models that automate workflows. In this case, we created a workflow that automates the process of creating a water level map. The model includes the Make Time Series Statistics, the IDW, and the Add to Raster Series tools. Using this model, we can quickly create water level maps for different time periods. The end result of this process is a set of point feature classes and raster datasets, one for each time period of interest.
Notice the raster data sets that were created and added to the raster series raster catalog. Contours can be derived from the rasters and also indexed with the appropriate date. We can animate all the datasets together using the ArcGIS animation tools to show the changes in water levels over time. In this case, we animate the points feature created together with the water level rasters and contours.